Hey sightseers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any cool adventures. Today's vlog topic, I thought I'd share with you how I ended up out in the Salton Sea. And basically, it comes down to a video game. That game, Grand Theft Auto V. Now, if you think you've stumbled onto some secret vice of mine, guess again. My other half is the one who's a big fan of GTA V. It was his idea that we come out and see for ourselves the area that inspired all the different places that you see within the video game. And when he first presented it to me, I was like, uh, why would I want to do that? But when I found out I could trade in my sweatshirts for tank tabs, I was like, where do I sign up for this? Thus, we set about looking for every single possible place in real life that's featured in the video game. For example, this house that's found in Bombay Beach can actually be found in the video game as part of Trevor's neighborhood. Behind me is actually one of the buildings that in the game of GTA 5 is run down and dilapidated, but as you can see in real life, the community of North Shore has fixed it back up. Being from Wisconsin, we had no idea the amount of abandoned buildings and things we'd run across during our explorations out here in the desert. Some of you might actually recognize this place from one of my very first videos called Creepy Abandoned House Salt and Sea. If you haven't watched it, I encourage you to check it out. Nor did we realize just how accurate GTA 5 would turn out to be. Since looking for all the abandoned places that are highlighted in the game is like searching for a needle in the haystack, we've since given up on the idea of trying to find every single place that's in GTA 5. However, we are thoroughly enjoying our stay down here in the Salton Sea. Despite what you might think, there's plenty to keep us entertained. I think I remember putting shoes like this on my Barbie when I was a kid. You could stab somebody in the eye with one of these things. And that, my friends, is how we ended up here. Let's move into your favorite part of the week. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. This week's shout out. This week's shout out goes to Robin A. Robin, if you're watching, this shout out goes out to you. Thank you, Robin, for watching my videos and leaving great comments. I truly appreciate it very much. And I'm looking forward to watching your next Tiny Planet video. 